I've got here and the rain's coming and there is no view. Welcome back to another Pop Top Adventure where I travel further north on the west coast of Scotland to a campsite called the Red Squirrel. The usual campsite tour, fire pit and chat throughout the video, plus the images I took en route and the outtakes at the end. I hope you enjoy. Well, we've arrived and this is a really snazzy looking campsite. I love it. They're just surrounded by mountains. It's like the campsite at Seathwaite Farm. Do you remember where I stayed? I'll put a link in the description below. It's like the campsite at Seathwaite Farm where you're surrounded by mountains. Absolutely zero mobile phone reception. Apart from this one, slightly different in the sense that there's more trees. So it feels a little bit more cosy. I don't know. A uh, subscriber is parked just down there and I think that's where I'm going to park as well. Um, we can have fire pits and whatnot and chew the cud and have a few beers. He did say he'd been to the pub, which is just down the road and uh, I think he bought two drinks and it cost him £12, so I won't be going to the pub. <laughs> I've only just noticed there's a beautiful river just behind me as well. Don't know what it's called, it's just got water in it. Hopefully we get some clear skies and get some uh, aurora photographed and or some stars, which would be lovely. Now it's time to get some dinner on and have some fish and roast vegetables for dinner and I can't wait. Uh, which is why I'm cooking outside the van, because uh, otherwise it would stink inside the van for days. Nobody wants that. Right. We're back. See bye. So I'm just chilling with my main man talking photography. I couldn't have got next to a better person um, to talk photography about. He's got his camera out there and uh, we've literally just been talking about cameras and lenses and all sorts of stuff, which is ace. Um, I've not brought my canopy with me this time. It's just extra space in the van where he's got his. So if it rains, I can just jump under his. Um, and it's a very minimal setup. Just my chair, fire pit and the table. Uh, the table's only out. So then there's somewhere to put my beer and also somewhere to cook. Um, the fish later on so it doesn't stink the van out um, fortunately the van doesn't smell like last night's dinner which is good because the air freshener I've got uh, just a simple one of those glade uh, pushy ones that you put in the toilet so it does smell like public toilets every now and then but that's all good um, <laughs> every time I look up the mountains are just proper nice there's some lovely blue sky coming over that way so hopefully this tiny little spit of a rain shower will stop and uh, and we should be all good to get the fire pit going. Yeah, love this campsite. It's really nice, really quiet. There's only us here, I think, and another motorhome over there and a tent just over there. Hardcore, in a tent, that's nuts. <laughs> and roasties so we dry but we're cold because <laughs> so we're away from the fire pit that's all the way over there because the rain has started and it's not even supposed to be raining so lord knows what's happening we're in scotland so we have to go with what scotland says is going to happen weather wise dinner was lovely by the way it's probably one of my most favorite meals i've had in the van um salmon and roasties so i put the roasties in the sq professional first got them to a turning point, then threw the salmon in, didn't throw it in, but put the salmon in, and then um, let that cook beautifully. Bit of lemon, oh, just lovely, really, really nice. And I'm also really glad that I didn't cook it in the van because it would have stunk. Waiting for the sky to stop leaking and then uh, we'll go and sit back out by the fireplace again. Okay, see you bye. Yep, we're still stood under here and it's about 20 minutes later and it's still absolutely bucketing it down. Uh, the fire pit is almost gone. So uh, if it does stop raining, then we're going to have to basically start again from scratch. Welcome to Scotland, eh? We're back online. <laughs> the, uh, the rain has stopped, thankfully, but the fire pit didn't survive. So we've had to uh, start again, pretty much get some more fire lighters on there. In fact, no, sorry, what I did 
is I uh, rubbed some sticks together and danced around for a bit like Bear grills, and, uh, and that's why my fire pit's on. But we should be alright now. Back on track. <laughs> right then, it's time to go to bed. It's about quarter to eleven and i um, got a lot to do tomorrow. I've got to travel further north towards Sky. I cannot wait to go see Sky. It's going to be amazing. So I shall see you guys in the morning. Take care. See you. Good night. Bye. Good morning, everybody. It's a very wet and windy day today. So I think it's going to be mostly in the van. Uh, no photography at all. But I'm toasty and warm and all cosy with my cuppa. It's about nine o'clock, so I had a really good sleep. And heading up towards Glen Shiel, I think. And the weather's looking a lot better for tomorrow and this evening. So I'll probably have another fire pit this evening, providing I can buy some wood. Because uh, we burnt through it all last night. Uh, and I think, just a case of hunkering down, I'm going to get the bed away, get some breakfast on, get a shower and then head off up to Glen Shiel. It's going to be lovely. Red Squirrel Campsite is located in Glencoe, about a mile from the main road. The surroundings are breathtaking and you do feel like you're super remote. Reception has a handful of supplies you might need during your stay, offers bags of logs at £8 for pine and £12 for oak, which apparently burns for longer. The site has two toilet blocks and they were clean. I used the shower and it was lovely and warm, especially after a night off grid without my diesel heater working. That's another story. Right next to the shower blocks is an under canopy outdoor pot wash area. There is a waste disposal area, fire point, defibrillator, separate shower huts if the main block is full, water taps dotted around the site, and did I mention the views? You don't get Wi-Fi throughout the site, but there is a Wi-Fi hut that you get Wi-Fi in, just in case you need to catch up on your socials, and the chap at reception advised me there was a little button you can press to give them a shout if you needed a landline telephone for emergencies, as the mobile reception is rubbish. They also have a food van right next to reception serving various tasty meals, but this site is quiet during the winter months and it wasn't open during my stay. The van spots are all flat and hard standing, and you can choose where you would like to camp as long as you're not on the grass. There is no electric hookup option at any of the pitches, but fire pits are allowed as long as they're raised off the ground. The cost for staying one night without electric hookup is just £15, but they do charge per person. All in all, I give this site a thumbs up from Chuck Norris, if not only for the stunning views you get from this site. I'll pop a link in the description below for you to check it out. Lovely owners and a great campsite. I'll definitely be back. Well, that was a nice shower. The thing I liked about it the most <coughs> This is one of those you just switch on and it stays on. Uh, it's an electric one, so it's not the most powerful shower in the world, but it was warm, it stayed on, and the cubicle was big. And the other thing that I realized is that they had loads of hooks. Perfect. Take heed campsites. If you've only got one hook in your shower cubicle, get more, because you want to hang your towel up, you want to hang your dirty clothes up, you want to hang your new clothes up, a shelf maybe for all your bits. Perfect, that's got it all, love it. So, uh, right, I think it's time to start traveling again. Oh, nice. So I've just been to Costa Coffee and it wasn't £4.15, happy days. And as I'm driving through Fort William, every single business is called the Ben Nevis something. Ben Nevis bed and breakfast, Ben Nevis hardware store, Ben Nevis distillery, Ben Nevis shell garage, Ben Nevis plastering services, what? Ben Nevis anniversary office, what's that all about? What even is an anniversary office? Ben Nevis golf club, lovely. I've been to go get some more wood because I burnt it all last night and I went into the shop and I said can I have three bags of wood and a bag of kindling please and she's like are you sure and I'm like yeah she's like well the bags are massive anyway so I said right okay well I'll, I'll just have two bags of wood and a bag of kindling anyway I go to the thing because it's all covered over to keep it dry the bags are humongous absolutely I won't need to buy wood now until next year right well I've just been up to the Ben Nevis cable car thing and I thought I'll get in the cable car, go up to the coffee, get some photographs from the top, it'd be lovely. It's all closed. All of it closed. 
So I found a viewpoint of Ben Nevis and or some mountain ranges, I'm assuming are Ben Nevis, I don't know. Um, I'll be corrected in the comment section, no doubt. But um, I've got here and the rain's coming and there is no view. However, I can see a massive gap of blue sky coming. So that could help get a photograph, I don't know. It could be biblical, it could be rubbish. Either way, I'm having fun. So I've been studying for about 20 minutes and I'm thinking to myself, yep, yeah, bored now which is why I'm not a landscape photographer. I have no patience at all. I'm just thinking, why don't somebody put a, some sort of wind machine on and make the clouds go a bit faster? And why doesn't the sun do what I want it to do? Stupid. <laughs> Well, I've arrived at Glen Shield campsite and there was nobody on reception, but it did say on a sign that you can go camp up and they'll come and find you and check you in properly as and when uh, they get back to reception. All the lights were on, the door were open, so I'm just guessing they've nipped out. So it turns out the uh, the warden and his missus are subscribers of the channel. So yeah, it's been lovely chatting with you. So he's going to clean the loo. So if they're cleaner than what is normally on a campsite tour, it's because he knows I'm here and I'm going to be filming the loos in a minute. <laughs> So yeah, they just basically go around campsites. They're in that caravan over there. And uh, and basically warden campsites. What a brilliant job. That sounds like the perfect job to me. Uh, I've got a lot to do in the van. Uh, all the wood that I bought that I'm not going to be able to burn tonight. I mean, even though, you know, we've got some pretty nice uh, sky and a break in the weather coming over. I don't think there's going to be any uh, fire pits tonight. So it'll be hunkered down in the van. Jobby, I think. And uh, maybe have a beer with Milado across there. I don't know. But yeah, I just thought I'd uh, update you on that one. That's quite nice. And then we'll go across to the uh, cafe and, and film that as well, because that's all part of the site. Uh, and, uh, and do that, all the usual stuff. Right, let's get set up. See you, bye. Nice coffee time. Oh, it uh, absolutely keeps smashing it down um, every now and then because I keep my door open, which is lovely, nice fresh air coming in and things like that. But then all of a sudden it's like, and it's almost like hail, sleet, snow, like snail, snail, don't know. But uh, but yeah, it's going to be a chilly one tonight. So yeah, the heater will be on pretty much full blast uh, to keep warm and whatnot. But yeah, love this site, love the views, love the vibe, love the sound of the waterfalls. There's a river just to the other side there. There's some walks. Oh, I could stay here for a week. I really could. What am I having for dinner tonight? I don't know. Let me have a look. First and foremost, I've made a menu, so I don't have to do any thinking. And uh, Monday, I had my uh, wrap with salad and everything like that. Nice and easy to make inside the van while I'm camping in the car park. Yesterday, as you saw uh, in one of the other videos, or this video, I'm not quite sure I'm going to put them together. Um, I had a lovely roast veg and salmon in the uh, SQ Professional cooker. Oh, that was... That's next level camping food, is that? And then tonight, oh, we're having bolognese and garlic bread. So uh, I'll be making a bolognese from scratch. And uh, I've got some garlic bread as well that I'm gonna shove in the SQ Professional, get that all cooked up and looking lush. Can't wait for that one, it's gonna be really nice. Uh, and then tomorrow we're having the chicken curry with naan bread. I've got a naan bread again, just to cook. Honestly, it's like cooking with coal. It's like watching a Gordon Ramsay video this. <laughs> but what I have done, is I've made like an itinerary, very loose itinerary, just so then I don't miss things out. Because loads of you guys give me loads of ideas of things to see and do and go visit. And I thought to myself, if I don't write these down, I'm not going to go see them. 
And then I thought to myself, I'll write them down and say, I'll be here at that time and here at that time and here at that time. And it was a bit too regimented for me. So I literally just made a list of all the things that I could do on a certain day. And then if I had time, I'd go see it. It kind of, it just takes the thought process out of thinking. Does that even make sense? Don't know. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this week's video. Stay tuned for the outtakes next. In next week's video, I give you a campsite tour of Glen Shields campsite and chocolate shop, travel further north to the Isle of Skye and visit some iconic spots. Stay awesome everyone and above all, be kind. Right then guys, it's been an ace night, no. Right then, it's been an ace night around the f and it's proper cold tonight. Uh, we've even been rained on a few times and you already know that. Uh, it's proper burning my ball sack. <coughs> Heading up towards Glen Shiel, I think. Uh, I pro pro probably pronounced that wrong. Proper, proper. Wait a minute, transporter. Hello. No, thank you. Um, but I do apologise to anybody throughout these videos, whether I'm calling them fells, mountains, valleys. Valleys are in Wales, fells are in the Lake District, hills are in Yorkshire, and glens are in Scotland. Right. I need to just get my head around that. I'm probably still just going to call it a mountain. Right. If I find somewhere, you'll see the photograph. <laughs> if it's good, it might be rubbish. I don't know. But uh, but yeah, it's kind of on the way out of a road, on the way up a hill, on the way on the left. So yeah, come here for technicals. Nice. <laughs> right. See you. Bye.